Sigiriya, the ancient lion rock fortress near the town of Dambulla in the central province, is one of the most visited tourist destinations of Sri Lanka. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Sigiriya was a royal citadel for 20 years in the 5th century. Stark and forbidden, haunted by an epic story of murder and betrayal attributed to the Sri Lankan King Kasapa, who found hiding here after killing his father, King Dhatusena, more fruitful than meeting the wrath of the people who loved the old king more than him. But over centuries, this giant rock fortress has a different story entwined with the Indians. Indians identify Sigiriya as King Ravana's palace and draw strong mythological connections with the epic of Ramayana. In fact, Sri Lanka tourism is strongly focusing on the Ramayana trail exclusively for the Indian tourists. Sigiriya is this huge rock that is out there. The, the local legend is that it is Ravana's palace. So when you climb up, you actually find a place where Ravana used to, the, the swimming pool. And this is Ravana's seat, and this is where he used to sit and watch people swimming. As a kid, I've grown up on tales of the Ramayana. Every house has a Ramayana in, in it. So you hear about how Ravana took Sita out, and how Sri Ram went out there, and how he stopped there, and the fight, and Hanuman, and the burning of the Lanka, and, and so on and so forth. But now this is fascinating that you take people out there and say, go and see these places the way they are. The, the forest where uh, uh, Hanuman started burning, the Ashok Vatiga in the Ramayana, where the grass is still black, I mean it never grows green. I don't know for what reason, whether it's myth, whether it's legend or not. But in this part of the world, legend, myth and reality all merge together. Nearly 50 sites in Sri Lanka which can be related to Ramayana, of that about nearly 14 to 15 sites can be accessible by road. So those are the places that are, uh, we can sort of uh, uh, relate when it comes to Ramayana uh, story uh, for the Indians who are coming not only from India, other the Indians origins who are settled in different parts of the world. Sri Lanka tourism is also in touch with India tourism for mutual cooperation to develop the circuit. We are combining Ramayana and Buddhist trail together so creating a kind of a win-win thing. Uh, in fact, we are working with uh, our Ministry of Tourism of Sri Lanka is working together with uh, tourism, Ministry of Tourism with India on this. Uh, so that is the kind of, so it's, it has kind of uh, taken a, uh, interest at the highest level of both governments. It is worth a trek up to the top of the rock fortress to observe the breathtaking landscape from such a high altitude purely from an adventure point of view, as well as for those who may not connect with or know about Ramayana that much. This is our first uh, station here in Sigiriya. Um, so far I like it very much. Nice landscape, nice view, very ancient history. It's a wonderful country with wonderful flowers and trees and wonderful landscape. Um, yeah, climbing here it's really exhausting <laughs> um, and the weather is really, really hot here. With three beautiful gardens and incredible mirror wall, the ancient frescoes inside the caves on top of the mountains, Sigiriya remains one of the most valuable and dramatic destinations for the past decades.